inside this boom head during this maturation. Okay. Now let's talk about the packaging of lambda genome inside the pass head in much more detail. As you can see here, this is the section. This is the section at the terminal we are having uh, cost size and we are having this pro head coming in. So pro head is kind of coming in and the protein called GPF1 is also there and cost sites are present at both the terminals as you can see in this picture. So cost is here, cost is here and then it requires NU1 protein. Now NU1 protein is kind of guide protein. Let me write kind of guide protein which is required uh, during the packaging of uh, the pass genome inside the pass head okay so it's kind of bound with with this head and the DNA packaging regions giving the guidance to this pass genome to be inserted inside the uh, pass head okay and at the terminal there are proteins called Q and B that are being attached there then as they start the packaging and for the packaging they require energy uh, the energy is supplied from ATP hydrolysis. So ATP is getting hydrolyzed and they start to package it. And while packaging, uh, you can see here clearly that the pro head is also matured into a mature head. So it's a pro head previously. Pro head of FAS. Now it's a matured head. Here. So maturation of head is also going on simultaneously during this packaging. But the packaging initiation is important. Uh, to further modify the pro head into the mature head, right? So as this packaging is going on, ATP is required and hydrolysis is providing the energy. After a certain time, when it reaches the terminal of the cost site, it will, cle it will be cleaved there due to the presence of the protein GPD and also the other proteins like GPW, GPF2 and other tail proteins will be there. They will come and attach to this region and finally they will uh, provide the mature patch progeny particles, okay? But this kind of packaging will continue from one cost site to another cost site in both the terminals. Okay, that's how they can usually know how to package and which is the amount of DNA to be packaged.